order. Adoption isn't for everyone, but you seem like the kind of people with plenty of love to share. So, how are you feeling? Oh, goodness, we're tingling. <laughs> with anticipation. Oh, recess. Time for you to meet them. Feel free to walk around. They're quite used to having strangers here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, lovely people. Shoes, I know. They all seem so wonderful. You know what's wonderful? What's wonderful is how you both know what the other one is going to say before you even say it. <laughs> Not that it's any of my business. Yes, well, that happens when you've been together as long as we have. For being a family. A family. Wow. Well, for family, you've certainly come to the right place. I think we can find just what you're looking for. You know, if you want a girl, Susan can read French. And Edith over there can tap dance while blowing bubbles. Or, or maybe you wanted a boy. Actually, I, I think we were leaning towards a boy. Well, in that case, Benny can do handstands. And Andy can run 100 yards faster than you can say, ready, set, go. You certainly know a lot about everyone, don't you? Well, that, that's what happens when you've been here as long as I have. I mean, let's face it, not everyone wants to adopt someone like me. You shouldn't worry about choosing. It happens the same way every time. First, you won't know what to do, you'll be a little bit scared. Then you'll meet one of them, or talk to them, and somehow, you just know. Are you quite certain you're prepared to handle his uniqueness? Oh, my, yes. Yes, his uniqueness is a perfect fit for the Little family. Perfect. Mr. and Mrs. Little, we try to discourage couples from adopting children outside their own... species. It rarely works out. Well, it will in this case. I have a dream that everywhere I go, most everyone that captures my eyes and they find me so fascinating and I can't quite again trust them. A very special guy. Thank you. 